Now keeping you and your family safe. This is Two Works For You Weather, certified most accurate. Well, for the past couple of weeks, George has been talking about these mm -hmm. wimpy cold fronts, <laughs> mm -hmm. and apparently there's another one getting ready to come right through Tulsa. And one of these wimpy cold fronts, they move on through, but they don't really change the temperatures <laughs> very much, so that's why we call them a... A wimpy cold front. There you go. That's all right. So this afternoon, we have one of these... Wimpy cold fronts. Moving on. I don't know, it just sounds better when you say it, when it comes from a girl's voice than a guy saying wimpy cold front. I was going to say, front. I was feeling left out, George. Aww. <laughs> Justin, what kind of cold front is it? <laughs> wimpy cold front. Yeah, I don't know. Feels feels better when when a woman says wimpy. I, I don't know. This <laughs> afternoon, we have a cool front which is making its way through green country. We're going to see highs in the 40s. Basically, this wimpy cold front is going to keep our temperatures about where they already are. The main cooling with this front is going to stay well to our north in Kansas and Missouri, and there are some very cold temperatures below zero temperatures up through portions of Iowa today, but we're only getting a small part of this cold front which is moving on in. We already have a north wind over most of green country, but behind this front, you'll notice the north wind increasing this afternoon to 10 to 15 miles an hour. Right now we're at 44 degrees. We'll warm up a few more degrees as the front makes its way on into green country. The wind is is light. We have mostly sunny skies. We've seen some high clouds today. 40s and 50s for temperatures. 50s showing up right now in McAllister where it's 51. 40s in Bartlesville, 44 in Coffeyville. Now north of Tulsa, if you're watching us from near Bartlesville or Coffeyville, you're about as warm as you're going to be today. The cold front will have a bigger impact on you, so your temperatures will actually be cooler toward 5 p.m. than you're going to be now. Now, as far as the wind, Coffeyville has a north wind, stronger wind toward Ponca City, so we're going to gradually see the wind speeds increasing from the north as we go throughout our day. And here's where the real cold stuff is located, up in Nebraska, temperature of 8 degrees, and we've seen below zero temperatures as you work your way up toward the Canadian border. So, cold Cold front's moving on in, but main cooling is staying to our north and east. The front is also moving through dry in green country. Now, on the forecast, the computer model future cast, you can see these wind arrows getting slightly larger this afternoon, meaning the strongest wind we'll see today will be during the afternoon. Not overly windy, but you'll notice the wind at 10 to 15 miles an hour. Any rain that develops with the front should be forming off to our east, closer toward the Mississippi River. So, for today, high clouds, Tulsa reaching toward 48 degrees with a south wind becoming north at 10 to 15 miles an hour. Now, we're going to see the temperatures falling later this afternoon closer toward the lower 40s in Bartlesville as well as Coffeyville, Tahlequah near 49, and we're seeing 50s down toward McAllister. Now, tonight we will be slightly colder than we saw this morning, and actually I'm probably going to update this low temperature closer to 26 degrees in Tulsa with a north wind, and we'll see some lower 20s and a few temperatures approaching the teens in green country by tomorrow morning. But the cooling does not last very long. Long for tomorrow, we'll see highs returning to the 50s. Then a stronger front moves in on Saturday. Highs will struggle just to reach 40 and warming back up on Sunday. We'll keep that warming trend in the forecast until a, another cool front will be moving through toward Wednesday. And also toward Wednesday, we will see increasing chances for rain and thunderstorms. Well, we, we were kind of listening to your forecast, <laughs> mm -hmm. George, but look at what we found. Oh, Made some new friends my here. Gosh, these are the cutest little puppies ever. So mm -hmm. cute. Yeah, Dr. Landers just came in for his segment and brought these to us, so we had to uh, kidnap them uh -huh. for a little bit. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we'll hear uh, more about these guys in just a minute. First, though, <laughs> do have some more news to talk yes, about here. Another Republican dropped.